Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to install the PuTTY SSH client. So to start off, you're gonna to want to open up a terminal, get that terminal open. You can do, if you're on Ubuntu, which a lot of people are, you would be doing sudo apt install PuTTY. So sudo apt install PuTTY. If you're using a different Linux operating system, perhaps one that is not as well known, you can check the description in the video to get it installed. Now, once the app is installed, you can open it up, I'm just going to putty like so. And now we are going to connect to an SSH server because it's not enough to show you how to install putty. You should probably know how to use it because it's an SSH client. So I have a Debian server on my Raspberry Pi 4. It's actually, for the device caliber that it is, it actually runs the server very well. So definitely check that out if you want a cheap server. But uh, it's got a host name and the host name is Raspberry Pi and the port is 22. So that's all I really need. I can just select SSH to make sure that's connected. I don't have any keys for it. Just don't really need it. It's on my LAN. I don't need any special encryption keys. My girlfriend isn't gonna log into my, my SSH server and steal stuff. Now I just click open. Now when I click open, there's gonna be a window that appears. Now normally, <clears throat> it takes a couple seconds. So it's gonna ask you login. So I didn't specify my user account, so it's gonna ask it. So the login for me is pi. Now it's gonna ask the password. I can enter my password and it's going to connect me to my pi over telnet or over putty, sorry, SSH. Now once I'm here, it's just like a regular SSH client. I can do sudo apt update from my Debian server on my computer. I can run any command I want as if I was sitting on the terminal itself connected directly to the machine. So that is how you get PuTTY up and running on Linux. I know a lot of people use PuTTY on Windows and not a lot of people use it on Linux because what's the point if the terminal supports it? But honestly, if you use a lot of SSH servers or you just want something nice to use, I would definitely check it out, especially if you're familiar with the one on Linux, you can uh, do that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.